All right, so today we're going to do a very quick video on punctuated equilibrium. Essentially, Darwin proposed that things change gradually over a long period of time, which is what this graph is trying to show you here. So we start off down this end, and as changes occur, that would be microevolution and eventually macroevolution, but these gradual changes accumulating over time until we end up with the modern uh, example. That is not supported by what is in the fossil record at this point in time. Instead, what is supported is something called punctuated equilibrium. Punctuated equilibrium states that things remain unchanged for very long periods of time, followed by a very short period of time in which there is rapid change. Okay, you can see all these little arrows here, rapid change, followed by long periods again where there is no change. If this is what actually happens, which is what the fossil record seems to imply, that would explain or be one reason why we have very few transitional fossils. Remember, it's very difficult to form a fossil. Uh, conditions have to be absolutely correct. So it has to be in the correct, the correct type of, of soil or, or somewhere where it can be rapidly buried, where there's very little oxygen, where decomposition doesn't take place, etc. And so if you've got a lot of things changing rapidly over a very small period of time, the chances of fossilization occurring uh, of all of those organisms that are in the process of changing, or species rather, that are in the process of changing, would be quite slim. So this is what is currently accepted in terms of the way that evolution occurs, the way that macroevolution occurs, is that we have long periods with no change, short periods with lots of rapid change, followed by long periods with no change again. And that is called punctuated equilibrium because the equilibrium, the status quo, is punctuated uh, in the middle by a rapid period of change.